this video we're going to talk all about camera gear and tech stuff stuff that gets me so excited often it's usually guys that get all excited about all that geeky stuff not as many of us girls that get excited but i'm one of those girls that do so i think i need to do something so i can actually fit the part am i qualified to talk about camera gear now All jokes aside, I'm definitely not wearing that to film this, but I'm super excited, guys. Today, I'm teaming up with Terry on Bags. Look at this, we're doing a giveaway. You could win one of these bags. They are so awesome. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can win this bag. A lot of you were asking me to make a video about all the camera gear that I use, and so that's what this video is about, and we're going to cover everything from my camera gear to some of the accessories that I have and my camera bag. So let's jump right into it. All right, before I show you my camera bag and what's inside, let me show you my old camera bag. Now, I'm a big fan of backpacks. I just love backpacks for traveling and carrying my camera gear in them. So this was my previous backpack. It's a National Geographic. I like it for the most part, but there's a few things that really annoy me. Now, because I'm a girl, I really don't like just the standard boring black backpack that is so normal for camera gear. So I had been on the hunt for a while to find something that I really liked that looked kind of stylish and yet suited my needs, and I ran across this one. Leather, canvas, but the thing that I didn't really like about it, there's no snaps, these are just little buttonholes that you have to manually poke into, which can take a little bit. Um, and then when you have this open and you want to actually get into your camera compartment, this comes up, you open this, and when this lays open, your camera gear lies in this way. So if I have my camera, it needs to go in this way, and if you have any more lenses, they would be going on the side. So you have to kind of reach in, put the lenses on the side, flip this back up, zip it shut, and then when that's done, then you put your flaps down on the button, and then once that's all done, you're finally ready. To go and anytime you want your camera you have to completely take the backpack off and get back into here it was annoying when i had been hunting for my previous one this was a little bit more probably what i had in mind never found anything like this when i was on the hunt but recently i was looking again and i ran across this backpack love how it looks leather i'm not sure what this is i don't think it's canvas but it kind of feels like that kind of material my access point for my camera gear is in the back here that way when you're traveling, you don't have to worry about pickpockets being able to get to your stuff. Open it here. It's a much better layout. You can see I have different compartments here. My main camera, a couple different lenses, drone, so on. There is a side access pocket. This is so handy when you are taking this with you, especially for travel. You can access your camera by the side pocket. This flips open and right here is your camera. I have my backpack on. All I need to do is flip it around. I want to take it off completely. And I have it down here. Unzip this. Here I have access to my camera. And then zip it back up, flip it back on, and I'm ready to go. So that's a feature I absolutely love. So much more convenient than my old backpack. And it has a lot better storage system. First off, you have extra pockets up here. You can go in, you can put in filters. Even if I have filters for my drone. Whatever you feel like. It's substantial storage up here. There's a zipper right here where you can put more things down in this pocket. Battery char, drone battery, camera battery, or whatever else you have. The top, this has like a drawstring. And this you can put a lot into. Trust me, I hardly have anything in here. And then there's a pocket you can put a Chromebook or a laptop into. I believe it's like a 15 inch laptop. On this side, you have a pocket where you can either put in a water bottle or a tripod. I like putting my tripod in here. You just put the tripod in the pocket and then snap around the tripod like I had it before. So many options, pockets, all kinds of things, but that backpack we took to Europe, that's all I took and I fit my big DSLR, an extra lens, my drone, and all my clothes. We had like three changes of clothes or something, we decided we're gonna pack light, best decision ever. So I seriously can go traveling with just this. Minimal camera gear, clothes in the top. Nolan actually did take my laptop because it does get heavy, so he put the laptop in his bag, but it was so the way to travel. I just love this backpack. It just holds everything I need, has amazing pockets, and it's very functional, which is 
high priority when you're a photographer. You need something that's functional. I will have details on how you can enter to win this at the end of the video. All right, let's jump into the camera gear that I use. Now, I'm not sure what you all are interested in, if you're interested more in filmmaking or if you're interested more in photos, um, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of both of what I have. Just to give you a little bit of background, um, I started into photography soon after we got married. I had just um, your entry level DSLR, started learning on that, and then I got into weddings, and I just felt like the one that I had just wasn't good enough for what I needed it for, and so I upgraded. So this is my camera, Canon 5D Mark IV. I'm a Canon fan, pretty much everything I use is Canon. The reason I love Canon so much, and that so many people choose Canon over other cameras is because of their color science. I love the color that comes straight out of a camera. It has beautiful skin tones, it's a lot warmer than most other cameras. I don't think any other camera matches that, and so I just become hooked on Canon. I'm a big fan of Canon. So this is my favorite camera for photos especially. It does take video. I'll touch into that a little bit more later, but I don't use it mainly for my YouTube channel. I upgraded to the Canon 5D Mark III when I started doing uh, weddings just because it takes much better photos, especially in low light, which when you're doing receptions and you're not dragging a bunch of lights along, you need a camera that's capable in low light. And it also has a slot for two cards. So in case unexpectedly one camera card goes bad and you lose all the photos on that card, you have a backup of the second card so when you're actually taking pictures this camera is writing the same picture to each card so that was another big reason I changed and invested and then of course I invested in more quality glass so yeah that is why I upgraded to a more expensive camera and I absolutely love it and later on um, I sold that one and bought the Canon 5D Mark IV I'm not going to jump into a whole lot of specs on these cameras. The only thing I would recommend is if you are serious about photography and want to get into photography, I would highly recommend buying a camera that gives you full manual control. I love DSLRs, which means you can uh, change the lenses on them, gives you more control over the style of picture you want. Having said all that, you do not have to have a professional grade camera to take great pictures. You can take great pictures on any device. It's a lot about knowing your lighting, um, knowing your composition, and knowing just how to take a good picture. So if you're really interested in photography, don't think that you have to have the latest and greatest to take good pictures. And before I continue, I just want to say I will have links to everything in the description that I can come up with. So any gear that you see, just head down in the description if you want to see it. I'll have links to Amazon, which is new prices. My gear, I have basically all bought used. I basically never buy new. It's just so expensive. And I try to do my research well, go on eBay, sometimes buy from trusted sellers, and you can get good cameras for a lot less money. All right, just real quick, the lenses that I use for any of you that might be interested. My first one would be the 24 to 70 aperture 2.8 and this is the version the second version I believe mark 2 I love this lens it goes with me everywhere is basically what stays on my camera the second lens that I could hardly ever part with is the 70 200 this is aperture 2.8 as well this is the version 2 this lens gives the best of pictures I'm telling you if you're into portraiture smooth buttery backgrounds beautiful bokeh I just love the compression it gives to a photo it's just a beautiful lens so this is my main photography setup for photos it would be the Canon 5D Mark IV the 24 2.8 and the 70 200 2.8 with this you can pretty much do anything I have one other lens I don't use this one quite as much this is a wide angle it's the Tamron 15 to 30. So this was really good when you were in tight situations in weddings where you couldn't get a wide enough of a shot. So besides photos, I also use this camera for video. Mostly I use it when I'm doing like product videos or I want really good footage of something for my B-roll or yeah, maybe the video just calls for something that I feel needs a much better quality video, then I will shoot with this. Um, it does have a touch screen where you can tap to focus, which is really nice. That just came out in Canon in this line, I believe, for the professional DSLR series. The reason that I don't film with this most of the time is because it's so heavy and um, it does not have image stabilization built into the camera. So if you guys don't know what this means is when you handhold a shot to take video, you are really shaky and you don't realize how bad until you go back and watch the video your footage is shaking all around it just about makes you sick to watch it a lot of your cameras have image stabilization built right into them and what this does it helps a little bit compensate for your handshake anyway but if you don't have that in a camera your footage ends up being really shaky for just your running and gunning type of filming so that's what I don't like about this because I have to be super conscious to have an extremely steady hold and then I still it still is much more shaky um, so I tend to like to shoot with this on a tripod and I do know there are people that definitely use this for vlogging they vlog with it I'm not 100% sure how that all works because to me I just it's just too shaky for me when you're really serious about filming you use what's called a gimbal you mount this onto it and the gimbal 
basically floats the camera, but it's this huge, ginormous piece of equipment that I just don't feel like dragging around. So I don't use this for my main filming, but it does take excellent video. And if you want to see some video that I shot with it, a recent wedding that I was at in Oregon, I took all the reception videos and I'll have uh, it linked right up here somewhere if you wanna check that out. That was taken with this. Love this camera, especially for photos, and I do use it for video. Occasionally, I plan to try to get better with a video on this, but we need to keep moving on. But before we move on to my other camera gear, I want to show you guys my neck strap. Seriously, do not wear the neck strap that comes with your camera. It's so uncomfortable. If you're a lady and watching this, I'm telling you, Garf camera straps are the way to go. They're so comfortable. They look better, that's for sure. And there's two ways I like wearing this. Because if I'm carrying it like so, if I'm standing up, it'll just, just hang down. But the way I like to do it best is wrap it over my shoulder and wear it like a sling. This works perfect because it, it hangs on the hip and the weight goes onto your shoulder and you don't have to worry about kind of feeling like it's hanging on your neck and then you can just bring it up, boom, take a picture and hang it back down. That's how I love traveling with my camera. I really like this camera strap. It's neutral, it's beautiful. I got it off of uh, Etsy. Um, a lady has a shop called So What Creations and if you want to buy one, she gave me a code just for you guys that if you enter NJF14 when you're purchasing, you get a 15% discount. So I'll have links to that below, plus the code. Seriously guys, she does an amazing job. I love all the detail. I really like the end, sort of like the brown leathery looking tab that is sewed onto the actual mounting part that goes onto the camera. And then of course the scarf itself, but she has various different ones. Once again, don't forget to enter the discount code if you're interested. The next camera I want to talk about is this little guy, the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I've owned different GoPros in my life. Love this one. It's waterproof as it comes, so you don't need all this extra housing to put it into. It has image stabilization built into it to the point that I'm telling you, footage is so, so smooth. You can just run and gun with this thing. You can get such good video. So the audio definitely struggles a little bit on this. Um, so I don't really care to use it for vlogging as much and it's just basically your wide wide field of view so you don't have a lot of creative options when it comes to filming but you can still do a lot with just this camera. One of the reasons I love it is you can just, I mean you can put it in water, you can put it anywhere and so you can get a lot more creative shots. So when I was cleaning out the cupboard, um, I put the GoPro into the cupboard when I opened the doors and was digging through all the junk. And then I also put it into a container when I was filling it up with rice and I covered it. And I also have another card if you're interested here again uh, when we were doing the garden. At the very end of us planting the garden, I put this in the dirt and then covered it up with a hoe. You can cover it with dirt, you can cover it with water. You can get so many creative shots you could not with another type of camera. It's not a necessity for filming, but it is sure a nice little handy tool to have along. Sometimes I do choose to only take this because it's so small you can throw it in anywhere. You don't need any other camera, you really don't. If you just want to capture your memories, this is great. So if you're interested in not really learning a whole lot of settings for video and you just want to run and gun, get everything in focus and just have good video, a GoPro might be the way to go. Um, one of the main attachments that I use with my GoPro, which a GoPro comes with a little housing here just so you can stick the GoPro into it so you have ways to attach it to other things. Um, but one of my favorite that I use all the time is this three-way arm by GoPro. And I just go around and use this like so to film or you can hold it out like this. If you're taking a video of yourself, talk to it. If you want it extended, you just unscrew this. This comes out and suddenly you have an extension. So you see here, this is kind of a long extension. If you want to get, you know, when we're riding bikes or whatever, you can get a wide, wide field of view. And then it doesn't stop there, guys. It doesn't stop there. There is a little screw out down here. Suddenly you have a tripod. Now you can either mount the GoPro straight onto here you have a little tripod just like this that sits down. Or you just pop that back on and screw it into the bottom. And use a tripod like this. There you have it. So you just need to set it up. Handy little tool. The only thing I don't like about it and this GoPro is it catches handling noise. If you move this and it just by a hair moves a little bit in your hand or your hand slips on it, that noise travels up into the GoPro, drives me crazy. I did a little bit of research and I found out about this mic. And I actually haven't even opened it yet. I just purchased it. It's called Ceremonic, I believe, XM1. Link's below if you want it. It's like 25 bucks, really cheap for a mic. And it's like a micro mic. Long story short, the camera I'll be introducing you to next, my main vlogging camera, literally is gonna die any day. 
and I have I don't have the money to purchase another one so I'm like what am I going to do until I can earn money to get another vlogging camera so I'm like well I guess I'm gonna have to make do with this so what I did is I ordered a microphone teeny tiny I cannot put this into the GoPro GoPro made an extra little mic adapter that you have to plug into here so that this can go into that and I so I need to purchase that yet before I can use it the problem is GoPro got behind on inventory, so every store is sold out of this adapter. Normally the adapter costs $50 new, and right now you go on eBay and try to buy them or Amazon and they're like over $100 because the demand is high and there's no inventory. So I'm not sure when the inventory is coming back. Anyway, so once that adapter comes with also I bought some extra special housing that holds both the GoPro and the adapter, then I can use the this mic for vlogging and hopefully I'll have better audio. This little mic turns forward so that if it's plugged into the GoPro, it can be facing forward towards me or it can also be facing backwards. You can flip it both ways. So it's really handy um, and I can't wait to try it out. I think it'll do a good job. If you guys in the future see my videos starting to look a little different, it's because I'll be filming on the GoPro because my other camera died. Super sad but I have to first save up money before I can afford to buy a new one. Oh, one more thing about the GoPro, guys. I bought this handy little tool for our recent trip to Oregon. This is a GoPro holder that Velcros right onto your shoulder strap of the backpack. And so you can mount your GoPro onto here. I can turn this, tilt it up and down, get the right angle, and this also um, turns this way as well. Really handy. I got some really good shots where it just felt like you were me. You could see my arms, you know, I was ordering coffee. Really liked it. Gave you kind of the first person feel. Anyway, so that's really nice. People often don't really even know you're recording. And um, yeah, just kind of have it on your backpack. So really like that. I have links to that one below as well. All right, last but not least, my vlogging camera. Guys, this is one incredible little camera. So I'm the type of person that I want to get the best quality videos that I can with a minimal amount of gear. Because when you're just living life and you're trying to capture memories, you know, it's not fun to be just lugging all kinds of gear along, trying to get it all after a while, you just miss the moment. So for me, trying to stay in the moment and still getting good quality videos requires a balance between a big DSLR and a little point-and-shoot camera. So voila! Here is the Canon G7X Mark II. So what they have done is they have made a little, basically like a professional level point-and-shoot camera where you cannot change the lenses but you have manual control over your photos and your video. So if I know the kind of photo that I'm looking for and I don't want to shoot in automatic mode, say I want to blur my background more or whatever effect that I want, I have complete control on this camera like I would on my DSLR. Now granted it's not a DSLR, the pictures in it are not nearly as good as the ones on my DSLR. Obviously it's not as expensive of a camera, but still it does a really good job and for the days that I do not want to bother dragging my big camera along, this works just fine. Now for video, this thing really excels in video. And this is my vlogging camera. It has a flip up screen. I'm telling you guys that is crucial when you're vlogging. It makes things so much faster when you can actually see what you're doing. If I'm setting up doing something in the kitchen, you know, I can just plop it on the tripod, quickly frame it. I can also hold it up high and the screen flips down a little bit this way so that when I'm holding it up high, I can actually see what's going on. If I'm like holding it up over a crowd, the screen flips down part way so I can see what's going on. Now, if you're into camera gear and know all your specs, the really cool thing is it has a wide open aperture of 1.8, which is amazing. That gives you your creamy background, which is really nice. Um, and then it has a pretty good range zoom on it. And the other thing that I love about it is when I'm taking videos, filming family stuff, filming my son, I struggle with this balance. Like I don't want to always be like just in his face with cameras and whatever and with other people as well because like people just look when you know when you come around something like this and you're you're just really you know going to town with it it draws a lot more attention. Now this is still not too bad but once you put a microphone on top of that and everything you start looking like you're actually producing a video. Whereas if you have something like this you just look like a mom that's taking a video of her kids and no one really pays attention. And it also it just feels like I can live in the moment more. By the way it has a image stabilization which is really good in this camera and I can just hold it down here have this screen flipped up so I can just keep checking on it and follow Xander around taking videos of him having fun and I can still be watching him and then glancing down at my camera to make sure I'm still filming him and so on that's what I love about this and that's why I always want to have a small camera like this to help capture life's moments without feeling like you're always intruding into someone's privacy and so that you also feel like you're part of the moment that is what is key with this it is also the perfect run and gun video camera, especially for vlogging. Absolutely love it. The sad thing is with my camper remodel, this thing has been 
through the mill. One time a tripod head broke and it fell onto the floor and cracked the screen. Screen is all cracked on it. I got glue on it right here. There's little paint spots all over it. So yeah, this camera has been through the mill. And on our recent Oregon trip, I mistakenly dropped it again. It just did it in. So now it just works like half the time. It's always giving me lens errors and little zebra stripes running through it. So I'm limping along with this camera. If I hit it a couple times, it usually starts working again. I'm just praying that this one holds through until I can save up enough money to buy another one. Yeah, I would highly recommend this camera if you want something that just fits in your pocket, that does excellent video and good job at giving you control over your pictures as well. I have to show you guys the Gorilla tripod. If you've never heard of this kind of tripod, seriously guys, you have to have one. My camera is pretty much always on this tripod. So when I'm filming, where I'm talking myself, you can bend it so you can stick it out further like so. If we're out doing something, um, this also can make for a really nice um, handle, so I'm not actually holding onto the camera. It takes a little bit more of, of your movement out, so I can be walking along and just holding it like so and have it lower so that it's down closer to Xander's level. If I want to just set it up somewhere and take a family video or video of Nolan or me and Nolan and Xander or just whoever, I can just set it on the ground and adjust my camera and voila, let it go or you can wrap it around branches and trees. It's seriously the handiest tool. They make different kinds. You have to check out depending what camera you have. I have the, um, the sturdiest kind, which can actually hold my DSLR. So this one's a little bit more expensive, but you can get cheaper ones um, just for like a smaller camera like this that don't need to hold that much weight and it works perfectly. Oh yes, I cannot forget the drone. I have a drone. Yay, I have a drone. So this is the DJI Mavic Air. Uh, the reason I opted for this one is because it is so small. Like look at my hand and look at how small this is. And it's so easy to take with you on trips. It folds up nicely. I just love things that fold up and clink into place and just everything has a little compartment. It's just so addicting. So boink, doink. There's these little, these are actually antennas but it serves as legs as well. Right there's the camera. And here is the little drone. It's pretty noisy though. It's one thing I don't like about it. And then, the really cool thing about this remote, like often before this, the remote had your little joystick sticking out, so when you actually go to put it in your bag, it's like this much wasted space, it's catching on everything. DJI came up with just the perfect design. Check this out. You open this up, and then you have your little joysticks tucked in there, and then you just screw them on the top. Right in there. There you have it. Alright, and then you would just take your phone, put your phone in here, plug it in, Put up your antennas and you're ready to go. All right, so that concludes basically the majority of my camera gear and what I use. If you want an entry level DSLR that does good with both video and photos, I would definitely recommend starting off with something like the Canon T7i. Um, does well with video and photos as well. So that's more of an entry level camera that I would recommend. Another thing I'd recommend is saving up money and buying good glass, good lenses. The lenses are key to good photos, uh, much more so actually even than the camera itself. And now let's move on to how you can win this beautiful beautiful backpack. So I just wanted to say there's going to be a link in the description. So the link is going to say Janine Martin Photography Giveaway. I'm going to reroute you to my photography page. And the only reason I'm doing this is because YouTube has some rules about giveaways that I'm not completely 100% sure on. And so I just would prefer that I have the link to the giveaway on my personal website. That way I just avoid any complications with YouTube. So you're going to be linked to my photography page and then from there I will share a link where you can go and enter for this giveaway. So we ask that you do three things for the giveaway. First off, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Secondly, share this video with your friends. You just hit the little arrow button down on the video. You can share it a lot of different ways, whether it's on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, however you feel like sharing it. And then also head on over to Terry Young's YouTube channel, subscribe there. So when you go to the link on my website, it will take you to the giveaway and then it will give you different options if you click on my channel it will take you to my channel so you can subscribe there if you haven't already um, it'll have a link to Terry On's um, YouTube channel and then um, it'll also have a share button for you to share the video so anytime you click on a button like complete steps in the drawing that you'll see you'll be entered in the giveaway some of them are mandatory to be entered in and some of them will give you extra drawings so like if you want your name in the drawing multiple times so another way you can do that is go check out our Instagram so just to clarify I won't be actually making a video announcing the winners I will have it on my community page on our YouTube channel so you have to be subscribed to see that 
and I will also be sharing it on Instagram so you need to be following us to make sure you see the update there as well I will try to contact you guys if you do not respond within 48 hours we will automatically redraw and go to the next person and I forgot to mention the giveaway will be open for three weeks so you have three weeks to enter and then shortly after that most likely the next day we'll be announcing the winners on YouTube and on Instagram Anyway, have a good day, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck with the giveaway, and we'll see you next time. Bye.